Hello YouTube, it's Lemmaker123, welcome back to Pokemon Let's Go, Pikachu, flying type only run. You'll probably notice the audio sounds probably a little bit better. I figured out what was causing the issues at making these, uh, the sound not sound right, so now it sounds much better. But uh, one thing I do need to say is the crackling, the audio crackling, I don't think I can fix that. Apparently it has something to do with the, you know what, I'll talk all about this as we're moving on. But uh, apparently that's something to do with like the uh, data transfer from the console to the PC. But oh, Trace, yo, oh, book it. You gotta, you're not gonna believe this. Up, 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 up. You can go. Gah! Yeah, I never did get this point. <laughs> yeah, apparently it has something to do with like the power between transferring the data from the from the Elgato to the PC. Something I can't really fix. If you're gonna tell me to upgrade it to a 3.0 ports, too late. I'm already there. My piece, my tower came with 3.0 ports, so yeah, that's not an option. So we got a rival here, Pidgey versus Pidgey. Except I have the advantage. Since he keeps going first, because he keeps using a quick attack. You know what? I probably should use quick attack there. <laughs> Pidgey's more than likely going to tr uh, try to evolve this episode, but hate to say it, not going to loud. Because <sighs> we got to get Pidgey to level 27 before we let it evolve. Ah, oh, there's fate, yeah. Okay, word of warning, this episode is going to be a lot of battles. Uh, Eevee, you know what, let's switch out. Uh, I was thinking about using magic up. You know what? Let's go Flazard. No matter what, there's no elemental uh, advantages here, so it's still fair. But yeah, this this episode's going to have a lot of battles because we're dealing with Nugget Bridge. Now we're dealing with the route just above Nugget Bridge. Then moving further than that, I don't know how long that in itself will take. Man, he likes quick attack. <coughs> but, we'll see. I honestly almost voted on putting this as a speed up episode. Basically, like speeding up all the battles with music overhead. I weren't too sure about that. I'm going to record my usual three episodes in a row, but there are still going to be times where there's going to be a lot of trainers in our way. So, I want you guys to pot potentially comment down below. Are you okay with me doing speed up sessions where I battle all the trainers in a speed up format? It's still going to be going on, you'll still see it, it'll just be faster. Probably about three times faster than normal. So you can still see it, everything's still there, it's just going to be that with some uh, potential Pokemon themed music going on in the background. Who knows, maybe I'll even do post commentary as well in the process. But yeah. So that's why I feel like uh, letting this episode go out normally, so you guys can see what I mean. Ha! Huh, deep breaths. Let me try that again. Sorry, it's not likely to lose my cool like that. There's a house up ahead where the world-famous Pokemon f uh, fanatic is supposed to live. I went to stop by because I thought he'd help me see some rare Pokemon or something. But what I found, and don't freak out when you hear this. There. That Pokemon fanatic Bill wasn't there. Instead, there was a Pokemon that talked. Ah! Okay, bye bye. <laughs> and Pikachu's face. Okay then. I thought you got bought, got confused on that. Maybe that's from uh, beating Misty, potentially. And I noticed as well. I never did pick up the item back here. What the? That was weird. I was hearing an odd blip noise. This should be a rare candy! Yay! You're probably wondering as well, like, do I plan to use Magic Carp at all while it's a Magic Carp? Not gonna lie, probably not. Because Magic Carp really is not that strong. I've tried using Magic Carp, even at like level 19, right before it was going to evolve, and it couldn't even beat a level 15 Pokemon. 
Okay then, here we are, Route 24 and the Nugget Bridge. People call this the Nugget Bridge. Beat all five of us trainers and win a fabulous prize. Good figure it takes. This bridge is quite fancy, actually. It's got gold plates on it. I bet there's just gold paint. Or gold buffing. I don't know. Believe it or not, we're actually going to have an opportunity to catch a Venonat very soon. It's on the route just ahead of us. So if you want a Venonat, your opportunity is coming up. Gast away. That's one thing I do like about Pokemon Let's Go, is that they give you quite a lot of variety at the very beginning of the game. And that's something I think every Pokemon game needs at the very beginning, is a lot of variety. Giving you plenty of options to play with any kind of Pokemon at the very beginning of the game. Then work your team out as you play along. That's how I feel the Pokemon games should be. Not like have, say, just six Pokemon or less. So between like four to six Pokemon that uh, throughout the beginning of the game. AKA like between the first batch. This game had like. I don't know how many Pokemon, like, almost 15? Something like that, anyway. You know, it's Pidgey, Renata, Oddish, there was the two Nidorans, Spiro, um, then you got the Caterpie line, the Weedle line, you got the Pete, you got Pikachu, uh, <coughs> you got Bulbasaur. Yeah, there is just so much variety at the very beginning of this game, and that's the one thing I think they definitely did right with this game. And I hope they give us more variety when it comes to Pokemon Sword and Shield coming out later this year. I'm looking forward to that. So the only Pokemon I'm actually going to use is going to be the 8th generation. Because it's a brand new gen and I'm... So I'm only planning to use Gen 8 Pokemon for my very first playthrough. Okay, Sandshrew's got higher physical defense. Actually, you know what? I'm sticking in with Pidgey. Going in for that Gus. Sad attack, how dare you! <coughs> Looking forward to Sword and Shield, but I've heard a lot of people have been disappointed on the region. Because it's based in uh, the United Kingdom, aka the majority of it is like somewhat of like Scotland. But hey, guys, I live in the UK. I'm kind of happy about it. <laughs> It was going to happen eventually, I mean, Jesus, all the other games were based on some region in the world. I mean, po Encanto uh, was based off of Japan. Um, Johto, I believe, was also based somewhere... No! Nope. Somewhere in Japan, because it's like connected continents from between Gen 1 and Gen 2. And... Um, I think the fourth generation, I don't remember, but there's like an exact continent in real life that, uh, that the fourth generation's uh, region actually looks virtually identical to. I don't know where it is, I'm afraid. And Pokemon X and Y, obvious, that place was based, that region was based off France. So it's going to happen eventually, like of each country. That's probably where the Pokemon games end, to be perfectly honest of the main series games that they're going to be big. Oh right, yeah, another re another thing as well, po the fifth generation, X and Y, no not X and Y, um, Black and White and Black and White 2. That game was based off, I do believe, New York City because of, you know, the big city in the center so, and areas around. So that was actually based off New York, so mostly the US in a sense. So. I do believe in the end we are going to have like main series Pokemon games with every single region based off of like each like somewhat of the countries in some way or another of the actual real world. So regardless of how many people probably weren't a fan of the way how Pokemon X and Y is looking because of the region and stuff like that it's based off, just say this, it was going to happen eventually, just get it out of the way and wait for the next game. I mean, heck, you never know, the next game might be your country next. And you gotta admit, for people here in the UK like me, we're pretty excited to have a Pokemon game that's kind of based off our country. It's pretty cool. It's probably what people in France felt like when Pokemon X and Y came out. <laughs> oh yeah, I got another example of that as well, Pokemon Sun and Moon, that was based off Hawaii, if that wasn't obvious. 
So yeah, they're all based off somewhere. And I myself, I'm a citizen of the United Kingdom, I'm looking forward to Sword and Shield. I know nothing about the game, the only thing I know are the starter Pokemon and the Sword and Shield, like little details it showed in that very first trailer. And that's all I'm gonna know. Oh, and word of warning about that. You spoil anything about Pokemon Sword and Shield, like potential of like what Pokemon are, types and blah blah blah, I'm going to block you. I don't want no spoilers, so warnings in advance. Spoil nothing of Sword and Shield to me or you will never be able to talk in my chat. In my, uh, you'll never be able to comment in my in my comment area again. I don't like spoilers. I find them like some of the worst people on earth who like to spoil things for people who don't want to be spoiled. Okay, I'm done ranting now. See you back at Lucky Bridge. And we're back here. So you'll notice we have Peckers in the lead because we're using Peckers. Hello. Congratulations, you beat our five trainers. You just earned a fabulous prize. Got the nugget. By the way, kid, how would you like to join Team Rocket? That's right! I chased in front of a little girl. How creepy am I? <laughs> Sorry, I couldn't resist. We're, gr we're a group dedicated to doing evil and using Pokemon. Wanna join? Are you sure? Come on, join us! I'm telling you to join! Okay, you need convincing. I'll make an offer you can't refuse. Alright. <laughs> that guy is just weird. I do find it weird they don't give you the option. But. There is, believe it or not, there is a second chance on that. Yeah, at some point in the game. That's all I'm gonna say. Peckers. I find it weird as well that Peckers doesn't fly in battle. I should have used Headbutt, but then again, might as well stick to the name, right? Peck. <laughs> you know, wing attack. And again, Zubat should. My Zubat should know it as well. Tap Peck. By the way. In the next, in this episode, and potentially the next episode, I am going to capture at least two Pokémon between the episodes because I want the only Pokémon on my Pokédex. Headbutt! Bow! Spark. <coughs> Ugh! My throat didn't like that. <laughs> ah, I could never do the. Unless I actually prepare my voice in advance, I can never do those super deep voices. I could do some pretty deep voices. And we beat the grunt. Ugh, you're good. Yes, I am. With your skill, you can become the top leader in Team Rocket. Come on, think of this opportunity. Should I just find this by you by? Blah, 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 blah. Okay. That guy over there will hand you a Charmander. I think if you caught like so many Pokemon or sent so many Pokemon, I'm not too sure. Better that! Okay, this is gonna be hard to catch because I'm using the Pokeball Plus and it's plugged in charging, so this is going to be a pain. <laughs> Especially doing diagonal throws. Help! Uh. Okay, that's a little better. Stay that. No! Eh! I really wish I could show you the webcam. My webcam's not plugged in. I actually should do that. Yeah, I got it. <coughs> Man, I got wash card. Yay! <laughs> then that's the time will be added to the pocket decks. Yay! <laughs> okay. Believe it or not as well, on this route and on the route just above, Route 25 and Route 24, both have one special Pokemon, which is Squirtle. I don't think we'll see it while we're here because, as you know, the special Pokemon are kind of rare. <coughs> yeah, the special Pokemon are really rare. Oh yeah, speaking of that actually, after you beat Misty, I never did say this, but after you beat Misty, you actually have access to buying Lauras now. I should show that. I probably will after this battle. I'll cut to the mart. Go Packers! Tap a headbutt, I'm in trouble against Surge. I've 
<laughs> looked up Surge because I needed to make sure about where I want to train to get my Pokemon ready for Battle and Surge. I'm going to need to be at least level 25. Help! <laughs> I'm not that far away from Surge right now. Okay, I'm going to cut this out. I'll be right back. See you at the Pokemon. Okay, we are here. Uh, yes, you'll notice uh, Zubat's beside me now. I've switched Zubat to Lee. But once you have two badges, here we go. You get access to Lore, Repel, and a few other items. I'm actually going to grab ten Lures. They'll come in handy a little bit later for me, but for now, that's it. Oh yeah, you get access to some pretty decent items after you beat Misty. Speaking of which, actually, I wouldn't mind doing stuff. You know what? I'm gonna deal with this, and I'll see you guys back over by Camper Shane. Well, we're over here now, so let's head up north, and then go east. Double zoo! Like right, double zoo bat. Double then triple zap. Forget it, Zenonat. <laughs> Be Zen, bro. Be Zen. There's an Oddish there too. <laughs> I kind of want Squirtle to pop up, but I don't know if I will be able to get it to. Squirtle's rare, and there's only one of the catch Squirtle. I'll point it out when the time comes. But for now, let's see. Will it anything appear? Neither that than that. Guess not. Okay. Oh, goddamn, you're a hiker. You know what? No, Zubat's got Absorb. Just got down from Mount Moon, but I still got gas in the tank. Uh, dude. Are you Tim? God damn, please, you need to be Tim. Hiker Franklin. Damn it, you're not Tim. <laughs> Onyx. Unexpected, bro. Sorry. Okay, Onyx. Special defense is really bad, but. So, I might have a shot at this. Let's give this a go. Oh, wow, Onyx is faster. Man, Zubat, you're supposed to be good for speed, bro. There. Oh, is this is using. Oh, no. The later games, uh, Rage doesn't get you stuck in. That's only the early games. Come on. Rock Fro. I'm still in the game, you're done. Whee! <laughs> I started to say something, then I just went bland, I just stuck with it. <laughs> done, Franklin! I thought it as well because that guy, the guy with the onyx, is not supposed to be standing here. He's supposed to be standing down here. I find that very bizarre. Hello. I had this feeling, I knew I had to battle you. I'm battling everybody, kid. Chad. Dick I lick. And yes, in case you wonder as well why I haven't nicknamed Zubat yet, it's because he's not a permanent party member, so I don't see the point. Yeah, Magic Carp is a permanent party member, yet I haven't nicknamed it yet. <laughs> I'm hoping for a bit of help on that one. If not, I'll probably just call it Terra. As in, not from Kingdom Hearts, I mean Terra as in, like, the Terra of the Seas. So, yeah, I'll probably end up calling it that, but we'll see. You guys have got until, got until the next recorded session to do it! I'll make sure this episode goes up first, though. And I'll wait two days before I record. So let's turn! Man, you really do not get much experience from trainers. It's just made so painfully apparent to me about that. Oh, wait a second. Yay, Super Potion! By the way, I actually bought 20 Super Potions from the Pokemon Sense and the Pokemon, so yay! We got better potions! Joey! Pidgeotto. Oh, it's Flash's dream to be a Pidgeotto. Too bad I've got to crush that dream for nine more levels. <laughs> no, I didn't want to use Absorb. I was trying to sort my thing out. A strap. I do not like using the Pokeball Plus. Wow, that's plugged in. But all my charges are actually out of power. But no, all my controllers are out of power. This kind of point in time, so that will teach me for not being prepared. I want to use Confuse Ray. Take a talk. Too bad I'm going to switch anyway, because I don't want Zubat fainting. He may be a temporary party member, but it's going to be a little while till our next flying type, so Zubat's going to be here for a little bit. Um, I don't want to go up to my pure advantage. No, what? Pidgey versus Pidgeotto. You're confused, see the Pidgey? Apparently it's not confusing enough. Ow! Okay then. Ooh, we got talk. <coughs> Did you literally about the same amount? No. no I, I hit harder. Typical my luck. My opponent barely ever get hurt by confusion. So that's Mirstay, but she's confusing. Quack, quack. <laughs> that should be you. Who's the altar? Okay then. Zubat 18, very nice. Oh yeah, Zubat will evolve by then as well. In fact, the majority of my team will have evolved by the next gym. Yeah. Everybody except for Pidgey. Pidgey is going to be so useless against Surge. Sorry, Flash, but looks like you're not going to be the savior in the next gym. You're actually going to be kind of a handicap. Okay. 
have a normal potions. Oh well, that's good enough. Let's see, who should I use next? I know what the other trainer uses, so... You know what? Let's go for Hood. I like to try to keep my team uh, using different teammates. So everybody gets a chance to fight. Da -da -da. By the way, this episode's gonna be a bit longer than half hour because I want to make it to a specific spot before I finish this. And I need to finish this route off. And after that, it won't take us very long to get to where I wanna be. So you'll have to excuse my times, but something tells me most of you won't really mind too much. Why did I go for Gust over Psybeam? Ah, Psybeam would've wrapped it up. Wah, wah, wah. <laughs> Sorry, it was just, a, it presented itself. It was too easy. Not gonna lie, I thought this guy had a slowpoke. At least he doesn't leave green. My red. And red, blue, and yellow. He doesn't have a slowpoke. I'm reduced to just singing, I might as well have just put music over this. I'm not bad! I'm not bad, you're bad! <laughs> Sorry. Okay. Uh, I can't be able to switch now, my cheek for come on following. I'm about to see! The world! Sorry. I can't. Nob. Is that, is that seriously how you say his name? Nob. I know it's not new, but because that's N O O B. This guy's literally called N O B. That's Nob. What the heck? Is that seriously how you say it? Or Nob? Is his name Nob? No way. B No. Oh, no, that would still take two O's. So, no. His name is literally called Nob. What the fuck? <laughs> I didn't mean to swear there, but that, that just takes me by surprise every single time I see this guy's name. Why the heck is this guy's name called Nob? That's not a name. That's what you call. That's what you call somebody who's being this stupido. Except if you're allowed to swear. I don't know if Nob's a swear word, but it's still kind of bad. It's somewhere in the middle of not swearing and is swearing. It mostly depends on who you say it to. Then again, a lot of people can take offense to anything these days. <sighs> My guy is stupid. That's all I'm saying. <laughs> and that's battle done. Die! I'm not saying it no more. We're done with that. No! Wait, you're level 19? No, Jesus Christ, stop leveling up so fast! I'm not complaining. Wait, are you seriously level 19 right now? Wow, you are. Down flash, you're growing fast! I'm a picnicker, my boyfriend is a camper! Okay, so is that him over there? Goldie. Oh great, it's Sassy Lips. I'm sorry, but every time I see Goldie, that's all I think. Sassy Lips. <laughs> Woo. Honestly, I don't ever remember Goldie ever knowing quick attack in any of the other games. I've, ne I've never really used one, that's because Goldie's slash Shaking's not exactly the best Pokemon. I could have sworn they can't learn Quick Attack. I guess that's just something that they added for this game. Because I mean, Jesus Christ, they got Pikachu low and Double Kick. And many other moves. By the way, you want this guy to walk to you as long as possible. Catnick. Catnicker. Okay, I almost said something else there. <laughs> Dustin. Squiggle. We finally found a Squiggle. <coughs> Sorry, it's not a wild one, though. Word of warning on wild squirrels, actually. They're pretty difficult to catch. They like to jump around a lot. Doing their attack animations quite frequently. And they have a high catch rate, so... They're kind of a pain in the butt to catch. So if you try for a shiny... One thing I will say is prepare to run away from it so you don't break your chain. Because... It's a pain. I've done it as well. I actually have chained a shiny squirrel. I succeeded, but... I think I was down to the final ball. I think it was literally on the animation to run. And then it just stayed inside the great ball. I got so damn lucky. It would have broke out, that's it. I would have lost the shiny squirrel. Not only shiny squirrel, I would have lost the chain as well, which I caught squirrels in a row for that. Which, the first 11, let's just say that took about three hours. <coughs> to catch 11 squirtle. Three goddamn hours to catch 11 squirtles. That was a pain in the butt. You know what, we haven't used Flarezard at all this episode. So, Flarezard's coming out for the last two trainers. Yep, there's only two trainers left. This girl, actually, no, I think she's the last one. Sweet! And we just passed the half hour mark. The mark. The boink. Hey Oh, wow. Oh well, my flying type Pokemon have advantage against Nodish anyway, so it really doesn't make no difference. Blizzard! Yay! Hey Jay! Speaking of Pidgey, since Flash is growing so quickly, because it's staying in its base form so long, I wonder how long how level it'll be by the end of this three episodes. Headbutt, booyah! Time for another one! Nope! Get you down, flies off experience, everybody got experience. Haley has been defeated and she's jealous. Yeah, be jealous. Oh, no, we actually do still have one more trainer. <coughs> Believe it or not, that girl with the artist and the pigeons, she was supposed to be the last one. She was in the original games. And there was never a fisherman here either. So he's a new addition to this game. 
Ghost, 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 Ghost. Oh, I gotta bring out Ivy Card. The level 14. It's time for a magic card fight! <laughs> Come back! No! Tharp! Splash! Oh my god, it's so mighty! I'm gonna beat your Splash with a tackle! Splat! This guy's like, <laughs> I might speed this up! I'm sorry though, I gotta do it, it's just funny. It's a magic card battle! I'm gonna win no matter what, but yeah. <laughs> Splat! It's more like a tail slap than a tackle. Tackle's supposed to be a charge head first with your head. Not flip and slap it with your tail! Then again, I suppose that's how fish do attack you though, don't they? If they don't have teeth, they slap you with their tails. At least in cartoons, anyway. <laughs> One more tackle! I think that Magikarp's getting ready to KO me, guys. I think I need to kill it now, or it's game over! And it's... over. <laughs> I couldn't resist. <coughs> 55 XP! Krabby! Okay, I'm gonna get it out of there. Let's go to Zuma. By the way, once Magikarp hits level 19, I am instantly using a rare candy on it to evolve it into a Gyarados. Because I don't feel like waiting forever for that level 20. My hand's getting a bit crappy. Alright, boys. Luckily, I should be able to use the uh, Joy-Con after this episode because you know, I've been on charge for almost an hour. I'm so crappy, Slap Force! Oh, dear. And there we go, that's all the trainers for this episode. Yay, but we still got two more things I want to do. Let's go, Charmeleon! Let's- Oh no, there is still one more trainer, that's right. Huh? Dot dot dot. What is it, Hyperchu? Is there something there? Oh my god, it's a Nidorino! What? Hiya, I'm a Pokemon! But, no, I mean... I'm Bill! Call me Bill! A true blue Pokemon fanatic. If he was a shiny, I'd love that effect. A shiny Nidoran calling itself the true blue. Oh man, that would have been perfect. They missed out on that opportunity. Hey, what's the skeptical look? I'm not jostling you, lady. God damn it, Nintendo. I screwed up with an experiment and it's a uh, little Pokemon. How about it? Will you help me out here? Wait, so there's a human body inside that thing? I won't say anything and I'll just say yes. I'm gonna climb inside the teleporter and the cell separation for me. You could do it from that PC over there. You could do it for me, right? Don't leave me hanging, bro. <laughs> Sorry. Counting on you, lady. That's right, you gotta let a 10 year old girl know how to operate a cell separation device. This sounds like it go work. It's like the best idea ever. Whoa, I should get in there, don't mess this up. And now for a cutscene. You started out the cell outside of the system. I like how Pikachu was just so happy throughout that whole thing. I think he liked the electric. Then again, Eevee likes it too. I don't know. Maybe the, maybe Pikachu and Eevee are just a sadistic Pokemon. Okay, uh, I should like thank you too. You did say that one. Maybe this will do. Got the answer tickets. That's a cruise ship. Uh, it's a sand pool's important for the city. They invited me to party some party on board, but I can't stand a fancy gathering. Why don't you go instead of me? Couple of tickets in there, so I'll have some fun with a friend or something. Speaking of a friend, okay then. Ah, it's here. Okay, I guess I gotta battle this coach trainer. Yo, this area is popular for dates. Proud independent coach trainer, date spot. I'll let you know. I'm pretty strong one about me. Yes. This is gonna be a longer episode than I planned. <laughs> I forgot about this coach trainer. She only has one Pokemon though. It's a matchup! We have advantage. Too bad Squares are in the lead. And this thing's level 16. I think we were actually meant to come here to fight before going to battle Misty, but I always just go for Misty first. Burnt it. Ha! 
for the seismic toss. Damn it! No! Boom. I should be I can't help myself with the silly things. Ember! You burn, fool! One more Ember should end this. Boom. Hasta la vista, chope! Ember. I was gonna go for Scratch, but honestly I feared it not beating it. And that's the end of the battle. Ding! 19, so wait! Hood level 19. Hood wants to learn Super Sonic. No! Yay! Yes you were, you were coached. Rodet. Uh, there we get TM15, Seismic Toss. If that wasn't obvious, and the fact that's the only move she used. Yeah, Seismic Toss does equal to the da damage equal to the Pokemon's, the using Pokemon's level. Basically, so since that matchup was level 16, it kept doing 16 damage to me no matter what. Alright then. I would cut this bit out, but I want to walk this. A long road all the way down, and Lazard shall find something. <laughs> and you find us? A silver raspberry. That's kind of what I wanted to show. This this plant here, once every 24 hours, will give you a silver berry. But it's just one berry. Wait, Pikachu, were you wagging your tail? Yes, she was. There's an item hidden here. Three pineapple berries. Cool. Oh my god, I just realized there's still one more battle. You don't actually have to battle this one either, the same as the coach trainer, but I want to. Hey, give me back my Pokeball! Squiddle! How can you do such a thing? I need to keep an eye on this house. Get back here! That's like the Squirtle squad still out to travel. Hey. Okay, let's switch up here. Um... No, I don't want to use Flazard, so let's go to Hood. Because I know what we're up against. Whoa, this place has been trashed! Detective Pikachu's on the case! <laughs> Sorry, it just made sense to say that with that movie coming out sometime soon. Here you go. At least the thing's coming out soon. I don't know when the release date that is. Raspberries! And a giant hole in the wall. Eureka! They went this way! Okay then, let's go this way. <laughs> I'm sorry, I don't even know what I'm doing right now. And you. Hey, stay out! This is not your yard! Huh, me? I'm an innocent bystander, don't you believe me? Yes, I believe everybody who says they're an innocent bystander then choose to battle me with a giant R. <laughs> Team Rocket Grunt. Sent south the rat arcade. That's why I brought out Hood. Hood should be able to deal with this. Technically almost any of my Pokemon could have dealt with it, but I think we're gonna deal with it a little bit faster than any of the others. Side in! No confusion. Now. Nah. Come on Hood, get a crit. This would be perfect. Damn it. I'm not gonna lie guys, I'm actually in shock. The episode's close to being over and I haven't heard any crackles. I probably just jinxed myself by saying that, but whatever. Oh by the way, since this episode's gonna be longer than expected, I will try to make the next episodes a, a bit the next episode a bit shorter. Maybe. I know what I'm doing in the next episode. You know what, the episodes are gonna be the way they are. Okay, I'll return the TM at all. We got TM10. Dig. Better get a move in. Bye! Sad face. Alright, with that done. I do need to heal up. I will admit that, but I can do that off screen. We are now going south. And then west. I'm actually going to go all the way over here, because there's actually some items over here. Burn heal. Yeah. <coughs> You know something? I might speed up those battles. Growlithe! 
another Pokemon to catch. But I think I'll speed them up with my voice, so it won't be that fast, but it'll be like 1.5 uh, faster in battles than out battles, so that way then we can cut this video down by almost half. Yeah, I think that's a good compromise, actually. Yeah, you know what? I'm doing that. Sorry if you don't like the speed ups, but that's what I'm going to do. Let me know what you think, though, and I'll take that into account for the episodes coming on. Seems like we can't pass through the gate there. But the underground path should take us to Vermilion City. It's a bit dark and spooky, though. <coughs> huh? Hold still for one sec, LP Maker. Personal space! I was wondering about the sparkly thing here was stuck in your hair. That's still creepy, dude. You don't just walk so someone's face that close, no matter what. That's a little space, bro. I mean, I know he honestly he seems too innocent to actually do anything, but still. Still creepy. SS tickets? Here, yeah, take one. Don't really go in. Where'd you get this? You got in from the talking Pokemon! Oh, it was a person after all. Well, I guess that's good to hear. Uh, just forget about the whole thing, okay? Let's press on. See you there! <coughs> Alright then. The place where we're ending this episode is actually just outside this this place. Just outside the dark tunnel. But the dark tunnel actually has respawning hidden items. Not like that one there. They're like items you cannot see. So yeah, once every 24 hours, I recommend you come here and try to find them, because they actually can be pretty valuable. I didn't want to talk to Flarezard. Uh, wait, so it's over here? There we go. Got a big pearl. Very nice. You can find pearls, nuggets, lures, potions. But this place is very good to come to once every 24 hours. Yeah, I even just found a nugget. Da 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 da. Find a repel. I think you can find lures too. Did I say that already? I don't remember. Item! <laughs> well, that's a lure, but that's not a hidden item. Uh, bottle of fresh water. I guess that counts as a potion. Kind of does. Because it works better than a potion. And we're out of here! So yeah, I recommend coming back there every 24 hours. Good place for money grinding. But that will do for this episode, guys. I hope you've all enjoyed. In the next episode, we are going to take on Route 6. Catch a Pokemon on here. And then move into Vermilion City and move on forward past that. So, hope you've all enjoyed. And that's what we're going to do in the next episode. Bye-bye! I gotta go heal!